Hello friends, I am Crystal bringing you this episode of Dancing into STEM. I learn and perform the Indian classical dance form Bharatanatyam. This is a beautiful ancient dance form from South India. I wanted to show you just one of the many steps or adavas that we learn. This one is called Brahmari Adava and it is one of my favorite ones. <laughs> Now, here is my friend Aru, who is also a Bharatanatyam dancer. Now, for a minute, we are going to pretend that Aru is dancing on the moon. Did you know that you'd feel a whole lot lighter on the moon? In fact, you'd feel six times lighter. So, my Brahmari Arava might look very different when Aru tries it on the moon. Perhaps like this. Do you know why this is? It is because of something called gravity. Gravity is a force, a pull that every object has towards every other object. Anything that has mass, that is, anything that you can touch physically will attract and be attracted to other objects. The larger the object, the more gravity it has. Small objects around us do have tiny amounts of gravity, but we don't really feel it because the force is so very small. But the Earth is a large object and it has a lot of gravity, enough to keep us all stuck to it. If it didn't, we'd all just float away into space. Here is my friend Ramya. She is also a Bharatanatyam dancer. Imagine if Ramya lived on Jupiter, which has about two and a half times more gravity than Earth. Now, Jupiter is a gas giant, so she probably wouldn't be able to actually dance on its surface. But if she could, what would our Brahmari Arava look like if Ramya did it on Jupiter? You try it. Pick a movement, any movement, and then imagine what that movement would look like on Earth, on the Moon, and on Jupiter. We hope you enjoyed learning about gravity and about Brahmari Arava, one of the movements we use in Bharatanatyam, in this episode of Dancing into STEM.